get up there. So I'm going to move this up. So you can't be shy. You have to tell your patient what you're doing, obviously, men to women and vice versa, women to all my male clients, things like that. So I usually, I'll drape here so that I don't even see their shorts or anything. I'll put towels, I'll tuck them up underneath the shorts so that I've got a clear view, okay? So I really try to drape very well here. And then for the women, like I'll usually, if they have a high short or sometimes they don't have any shorts on and they're just in their underwear, I'll make sure that I drape this whole area, okay? So we'll just kind of be like this and then I tuck into the shorts, okay? So I'm not afraid to get up here, okay? So if you feel like you need gloves, that's totally acceptable. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so use gloves if you feel that that's appropriate, okay? So not everybody is groomed in this area, so I definitely, if I see that, I'm going to <laughs> on them with gloves you're you're in this like medical shield right so I definitely use gloves I use um with my with all my soft tissue techniques I typically will have some kind of a medium so either anti-flam I prefer or deep heat not deep heat um deep prep and things like that so whatever you want to use it's totally fine sometimes when I'm just doing stuff like that I don't even use anything I just use my fingers. I want to feel how things are releasing, okay? If they're uncomfortable and they feel my skin, the skin-to-skin -skin friction, I'll add a little medium to my finger, okay? Just to have them feel more comfortable with that um, feeling on the skin. Um, so for these bigger muscles, I definitely will use something because I want to stroke the muscle and I want to come in here and I want to do some fascial release. So I want to show you that. So. I want to go from the origin to the insertion. I want to sweep the whole thing, right? So this big guy who's sticking out at me, so go ahead and pull your knee across. So that big guy who pumps out, who is that? No, longest, okay, longest, okay? That's what we're gonna, we're gonna play that. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep them coming. We wanna play that for when we're talking about sports hernias and stuff, when we talk about hip. But adductor, what do we say happens to adductor typically? Big time trigger, trigger points. Big time trigger points. Tight, 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 because the glutes shut down, right? So these guys will be very, very tight. So we're going to make sure we stroke all the way up to longus, okay? All the way up to longus. Then right behind longus, which is going to be really tough to feel, is going to be brevis, okay? So behind brevis... And next to, as you keep going, it'll be a ropey one, okay? That's more gracilis, right? As you keep going back further, so back here where it's going to look like the hamstring is going to be magnus, okay? So know your adductors. Then there's one more that we should talk about. So we've got pectineus. So what you'll do to find pectineus is you'll come into near the femoral triangle, right? That's where the <coughs> femoral artery is. So when I palpate, I should feel, ba-boom, ba-boom, I should feel femoral artery. If I go just medial to the femoral artery and a little bit deep, pectineus is the floor of the pelvic, of the uh, femoral triangle, okay? So when I go just medial and in, that's pectineus. So pectineus really starts off all the adductors. Pectineus, then I'll go longus, gravis, gracilis, magnus. Okay? So there are those. Now, obturator uh, externus, I think, also acts as an adductor. Okay? So that's also one of your adductors. So there's six total. Okay? So don't forget obturator externus. All right? So that's how we're going to do it. So we can stroke all the way through pectineus. We can do, just do some gentle release, just like we did at psoas, into pectineus, okay? Sweeping motions, sweeping motions, sweeping motions. And then what we'll do here is, I'm going to borrow your leg, just let me have it. You're tight in your hips, girlfriend. You're like, you're like, woo, coming over here. So, so what I will then do is get them into a more open position, and I'll come along longest. Okay? 
This is more of a fascial release. So I'll take longest and I'll just try to do some release right around longest, okay? Going all the way down, almost like I'm pushing in and kind of pulling up, okay? I'm just kind of seeing how much that longest will let me get in there, okay? And I just free up the fascia, free up the fascia as I go down all the way. Okay, so it's like I'm trying to pick it up. Can you see that? I'm going in, I'm massaging in, 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 but I'm also seeing how much can I get it to pull away, okay? So that's how I typically will attack through these adductors. Again, you can have them, you okay? Yeah, just that hurt, that hurt real yeah. bad. <laughs> so, like, yeah, gonna I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be uncomfortable in a lot of people. That's why, again, I say, Go in, easy, <laughs> warm them up, okay? That's going to be easy, warm them up. They're going to be, you know, you just really slowly get in there, get in there, get in there, and then they start to loosen, and then you can take them out into getting a little bit more fascia, okay? So as we go around, I usually will get adductor magnus from when I do my hamstrings, okay? It's a better position all around when they're in prone. Okay, so here's adductors. 